We are getting very close to the NHL trade deadline. Can you smell it yet? Because I can smell it. And one name that's been rolling off of everybody's tongue lately in Montreal is Chewbacca. <laughs> what are they going to do with him? Should they keep him? Or should they dangle him around Michael Jackson style in front of some teams who are desperate? Look, I don't know. But let's just say, I wouldn't be too shocked at all if he does get moved between now and the trade deadline. <sighs> David Severn, what comes to mind? He's a jack of all trades. When you need this guy to be a Vizina caliber goaltender, boom, you can count on him. What a beauty. When you need him to be an elite sniper and pull off an impossible shot, boom, you can count on him for that kind of stuff too. And finally, when you just need somebody to play some good or reliable defense, you better believe it, you can count on Chewbacca for that kind of stuff too. <coughs> Sometimes. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to raise his stock here. David Savard is his Stanley Cup champion, okay? He knows exactly what it takes to get the job done. He's got 57 games worth of experience in his arse pocket. He's not missing around. And even though his current contract isn't over until the end of next season, I still consider him a very valuable trade chip. Let's face it. What's left to choose from, guys? There's just not a whole lot of right shot defensemen left on the market right now, which means Kent Hughes is licking his lips. He's salivating over this. So why don't we go ahead and have a peekaboo at David Savard's numbers so far this season. He's got 15 points in 40 games, which might not seem like a lot, but every once in a while, he's going to surprise you with a huge goal. And I love it every time he does. I call it a chewy goal. But you want to know what makes him extra valuable? This stuff right here, okay? He is not an easy guy to play against. You know what I mean? And teams aren't looking for wussies when they're thinking about the playoffs, okay? They're looking for guys who can battle, and David Savard is a guy that can battle. He's a pretty intimidating man. I mean, his beard alone by itself is intimidating. And when most guys go into a corner with this guy, even seeing his reflection in the glass is enough to make you just want to shit your pants. Isn't that crazy? It's unbelievable. Now, as for a potential return, and I know this might sound crazy, but I feel like if David Savard gets moved, it's not going to be cheap, okay? Kent Hughes is an absolute cheapskate when it comes to this sort of stuff. I'm already willing to bet that he's got a high price set on David Savard, and if nobody's desperate enough to pay that price, well, I hate to break it to you, but he's probably not going to get moved. And I'm actually fine with that too, because Arbor Jackoy is just having the time of his life right now, being paired up with Chewbacca. They make a great combo. And hey, if Savard doesn't get moved right now, then in my opinion, one of him or Matheson has got to get moved during the offseason. I mean, it, it's getting to a point where they just got to make some room. Because the Canadians have a lot of defensemen right now. So do you feel like one of them is going to get moved over the next couple of days? David Savard. Johnny Honda Civic, even Jordan Harris's name has been popping up in some trade rumors lately. Let me know what you think is going to go down in the comment section. Don't forget to run a little interference on the like button before you leave here. And hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.